If anyone loves and plays football, they must have at least once wished to become the conductor of the team, a classic number 10. Because simply, with the classic number 10, that's the beauty of purity in football, which is the sport with full of heart. Referring to the position in football, no position brings as many emotions as classic number 10, but it is dying and sinking into oblivion in the hustle of modern football. There are many ways to define a classic number 10, based on different points of view about football. We often think of the classic number 10 as a link between the midfielder and the striker. They often play creatively and are also capable of creating breakthrough. Tre Quartista in Italian or in Gache of Argentinians, it is also to define this very special role. The term Tre Quartista in Italian means three quarter, which refers to the position of those who wear the number 10 usually take charge between the central midfielder and striker. In English, players in this position can be called playmate. But in fact, this English phrase is not completely accurate and doesn't express all that one classic number 10 do on the pitch. While Trey Partista has a free play, it is difficult to describe all mission of these players. The nearest term in gotcha is a phrase Spanish, but comes from Argentina, translated into Vietnamese means hook. And this word quite accurately describes the mission of classic number 10, is the link between the striker and the midfield line. But let's ignore all the above concepts. For the followers of the King's sport, no words can describe the soul of this position except classic number 10, because it has become a subconscious mind that permeates thinking, but cannot explain or describe in words. The number 10 was born in the early 19th century, gradually popularized and became important in the following years. Each successful team were associated with the legendary number 10. Fans of the 30s witnessed a Cliff Baston of Arsenal. The 50s was the dominance Real Madrid with Stefano. Followed by the immortal names, the 1960s with George Best, the golden boy Maradona and Johan Cruyff of the years 70 and 80, Paolo Rossi, Zico, Michael Platney, and Golik names that made the success of Italian and Dutch football in the 80s in both clubs and national teams. Entering the 90s and the 20th century, the golden age of the number 10, with a series of outstanding names such as Del Piero, Zidane, Dennis Bergkamp, Roberto Baggio, and many others. As these names brought to the endless emotions of football, the magical feat of legendary number 10 running from the pitch to the hearts of the fans. Entering the 21st century, we see the running of new number 10s like Andrea Perlin, Kaka, Ronaldinho, and somewhere that is a silhouette of a genius Messi. Not being bound by a specific task, not necessarily goals or assists, but with their top technique, these classic number 10 numbers put emotions in the ball. Everyone must be excited to see Zidane with a legendary spin or witnessing Riquelme with his ability to handle in a narrow range and Dennis Bergkamp with the best goals in Premier League history. They are genius, but also have very ordinary moments in the gutter. Baggio was shocked when the ball from his feet skyward in the 1994 World Cup final, or Antonio Cassini, celebrated by wearing only underwear, or Toti used an iPhone 6 to selfie after scoring for Roma. Even without the ball, classic number 10s can do very different things from the rest. Football is still attractive, but not as beautiful as it used to be without these number 10s. Each of them has their unique styles, imprinted with individual traits. The common point is natural talent, perfect skills, and great vision. Their football are pure, very beautiful emotions, a little careless, bringing a beautiful beauty to heart. But the spin of time also requires football to move and change has some values that are no longer true. The law of elimination is making a classic number 10s die. Modern football loves highly disciplined and demanding tactical compliance, which is the maneuverability and versatility of each player. The harmony of the whole squad and the midfield is the most strongly effective. And Tony Cross, Conte, or Kevin De Brenna are typical names for that adaptation. There's no room for an individual. Referring to modern 10, classic 10, we can see three different points. Modern 10 are more simple, highly efficient, not trying to show their skills. They are considered excellent if they create the effect. Shown on the scoreboard, but not how skillful they can do the ball. 
Secondly, now the number 10 is a part of the team. No need to be the people of the genius moments. And finally, number 10 can now play in the wing or bundle in the middle, as long as they have the creativity and know how to change the outcome of the match. Juan Mata also has to defend. Modric plays both on the defending and the attack. David Silva can play on both the wing and the middle, along with the arrival of an anchoring midfielder like Makaleli. The classic number 10 strangle, even genius Messi must evolve to adapt. The current pure number 10, probably only Mesut Ozil, a boy with talent and vision, is not inferior to any famous name in football history, but seems as lost in the flow of time. And now Ozil has become lazy and out of step in the world of football. Everyone has to admit Ozil very well, but where he plays in the tactical plan of current football, although he's still a big name in football, he still has ecstatic moments that make us excited, which cannot obscure his loss in the squad. His decline in recent years makes us realize that the current football has no room for a classic team, and Ozil is probably the last fast note to close a golden age. Some classic 10 take a lot of time to adapt to modern football, or will not succeed without change. Schneider must change a lot from himself to succeed. Shinji Kagawa took two wasted years at Old Trafford, and Mario Goltz was not successful at Bayern Munich. They were all very good, but they could not step up in a football environment that has changed so much in the past 10 years. Current football still has its beauty. We still have to be surprised by the way Messi, Pogba, Modric, Cross, De Brenna play, or Conti's goals, but we also feel sorry when we see one representative of the beauty in football is done. We'll never forget the magic in the feet of Zidane, Burkham, or Rivaldo, Del Piero, and many other names who can be blessed to witness such things we'll never forget. These number 10 will never be forgotten. And looking back at these video scenes, emotions like yesterday, very special, pure and immortal. Let us remind later generations that football has had such emotion, a beautiful and very pure emotion from the king's sport. All the children of those days wished in the future they will be dressed in the legendary number 10 shirt. And on a sunny, poetic afternoon in Paris, the legendary classic number 10, Zinedine Zidane raised the Gold World Cup in 1998.